from my home office. Today I want to share with you how you could increase your open rate. What does that mean? How do you increase the open rate of people to open up your emails? You with me? Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you, okay, in a previous training I've shown you guys how you guys can write a broadcast emails on top of the follow-up emails, right? So let's go straight into the examples of broadcast emails that I've done recently, okay? So say for example this one, okay, I, I sent this one out last night. I've got 140 open rate. In online business or in the home-based business world, there is a statistic that I've heard um, before. It depends on your list as well. The open rate will range from 2 to 4 percent. And my message today and the purpose of today's video is how you can actually double that or even increase that, triple that, or quadruple it. How do you do it? How do you do it? It's pretty simple. But obviously, um, back to what kind of value you give to your list because it does not matter if you have a 100% open rate but if your message is useless or no, if of no value to people then people is not gonna buy but a lot of hurdles when it comes to you know writing your own newsletters you get a bit discouraged because when you look at it you have like say a 10,000 people in your list and only only um, 200 of them actually reach your emails. Sometimes it is a bit dis discourage it's discouraging if you find that. And that is why the purpose of today's is increase those open rate. I'm gonna show you a quick examples of here. Um, you guys can see on the screen with this title VUCA. Anyone keen to guess what VUCA stands for? Let's click on open 140 opens. When you click on that button, it will bring up a whole lot of uh, people who actually opens those um, and clicking on those, it will tell you the stats of how many clicks and how many unsubscribe, whatever happened. But the main focus is not on that today. The main focus in is towards those who, have, who haven't opened your email. So when you click on unopen, it will bring you a list of people that haven't opened up your message. In my case, I've got 8,000 plus people that haven't opened my message. Okay, it could be a factors of, um, you know, people, they, they just opt in a peep, one, one, that is the shiny object syndrome. People opt in people's life, or pe opt in people's offer without, you know, even <clears throat> going through the videos or going through the emails that people send to them. And worst of all, they have got thousands of emails sitting in their inbox from different sort of peoples. And they don't even unsubscribe or they just keep opting on new lists. So these people, imagine if you can tap further into another 10% or another, you know, even 5% of these people. Wouldn't, wouldn't that mean instead of having 200 people reading your, have, uh, have actually opened up your emails, increase that or double that? That will actually double your chance of getting people clicking on your links and sign up with you as well don't you think so let's click on send directly to these subscribers but instead of send it directly let's put a names on it no well whatever names you you want to you want to do it up to you no open i just put vuka stands for the first unopen i just click on save segment save save your segment now instead of send to segment save your segment okay and just close that if I go back to broadcast go back to the one that I want to resend I just click copy that okay it will copy exactly the same email subject line email content for your next broadcast <clears throat> For, and, and this time we are targeting people that haven't opened up this email. You can either choose to change the subject line because you think, okay, they haven't opened up my emails. It could be because of my titles or it could be because, you know, it could be the subject line. So you want to change that a bit. Let's do that for, for this particular purpose, uh, this training purpose. 
just something simple like this. Obviously, you want to develop your skill in copywriting and writing a, a, a eye-catching or, or, or intriguing subject line for people to open up your emails. But today's training is not on that. And you, you probably wouldn't change too much on the content of it because people haven't read it anyway, right? So you click on save. Click on next. Next. Okay, here's the important bit. Instead of sending it to all subscribers, you would want to send this particular broadcast to the one that hasn't opened up your message, which remember we uh, we actually name those segments as no open wuka, right? Let's look for no open wuka. Okay, so send it to that particular segment, exactly the same list, exact same message, just different title this time. You could either schedule it to send out later on, or you could either send it up right now. Okay, so it should be able available in your broadcast list, going to be uh, sending out to those uh, particular list that haven't opened up your message. Believe me guys, when you set this up, I'll show you guys a few examples here. Excuse me. Okay, I have actually sent one, say for example, this one here. I've sent the first unopened segment to this particular, with this particular subject line. I tailor a bit about the sub, I, I, I actually changed a little bit about the subject line. It have actually yielded me another 74 open rate. Okay, imagine if you have a big list, if you keep continuing on focusing on organizing how this broadcast work, you do not need to constantly keeping an, an eye on it, right? Remember the scheduling of your broadcast, right? So what you want to do, you might want to chunk a time out of your day to actually do this. Probably take half an hour or an hour, depends on how many messages you have in your broadcast. So I hope today's video has helped you um, in getting more open rate and hopefully more better conversion for yourself and for your for your for your copywriting you know to to reward you especially when you put your thoughts your minds into copywriting into creating something of value for people you will want people to read your emails and that is why i emphasize a lot on creating your own copywriting because when you have templates from a team say for example if you load up our team templates email it could be my own um, style of writing it could be our leaders um, style of writing and you do not want that especially once you develop your own copywriting skill you would want to write in a way that people know that hey this is from Felix hey this is from John you know you want people to brand you straight away people know when they receive emails like that they know it's from you okay but for, for, for this time if, if you have no knowledge in copywriting I urge you to get um, Dan Kennedy's, uh, get involved, just read his book. Any of his book is, is good. You know, one of them that I recommend highly to people is The Ultimate Sales Letter. So get yourself in writing, in, 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 in actually um, doing or producing a great copywriting skills. So that's it guys for today. Um, I truly hope you guys can go out there and implement it and get some results. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.